Hello everyone, this is Jito, and today we're playing West of Loathing. Let's go ahead and continue. So what we did, what we did is we were, last time we were doing a, a bit of um, horse searching, and we found one. So then we, we did that, so then the next place to go would be probably um, the Boneyard Springs. He was a really interesting guy. I bet he was, you know. For them to put that on the gravestone. There's another one. That's good. Um, Benjamin Crockett. He showed up way too early. Well, that's an interesting way to die, but sure, why not? Beauregard, skeleton captain, third cavalry. Dig it. Let's go ahead and fight this guy. Okay, we're gonna. Let's go shoot him. Ooh. Eh, might be bad, let's see. Uh, deploy snake. Um. Let's see, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and put, shoot him again. I think we can get him. Oh, maybe not, don't, don't kill me. And he got me. Oh, that was a... Uh, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. He was a captain after all, and you have it, haven't even been a private. Okay. That was a failure. We're gonna do that again. Never give up. Never surrender. Let's deploy a snake. Oh, dang. Ah, oh, he killed the snake. That's bad. Gotcha. Got him. Let's see. We got um, glamour, level up, old cavalry sword, and a gold tooth. That's good. Let's see. What do we get here? Um, let's replace that w the the broken thing there. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Not much in the way of interesting things. Can't get past the skeleton without a scuffle? Well, that's scuffle then. Let's shoot him. Gotcha. Got some extra grit. Skeleton horse. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky, translucent horse. Approach. You approach the weird semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, though you quickly come to realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend. Okay. Nay. That's a little strange. How did, how did you do that without opening your mouth? Pat her on the head. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you're going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Two, feed her oats. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You hold out a handful of oats for her, uh, for, for the horse, but she uh, just snorts and stares right through your burr. Uh, please don't look at me like that, snort. Try the oats again. You hold the oats out again, but the horse continues to ignore him. What's the matter? Are you not? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how to make oats spooky. I guess you could just put some uh, bone mill on them, but I don't have any of that. Anything handy to grind up bones? Grave dirt? Winnie. Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. You sprinkle the oats with just a little bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse gazes at you expressionally, then eats them. Wait, hold on a second. I forgot to set the timer, so we don't want to get this too long. Nay. And with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Bizarre. Let's see, anything? Okay. Uh, looks like a um, family. It's kind of depressing. To the Thousand Snakes Gulch. Okay, we're gonna dig that up. Got a shiny rock. What does that do? Uh, nothing really. Let's go attack. Let's 
go ahead and shoot. Okay. These things aren't really all that useful in, in attacking. Uh, progress towards uh, next. You gain one venom and one medicine. That's good. You have slain a snake before long. They'll call you Snake Murder and Johnny. <laughs> kind of fitting. Another snake. So I guess he got attacked first and poisoned. Shoot you. Actually, how much damage does this do? Eight to nine. Yeah, let's go ahead and continue shooting. Got you leveled up masculinity. Got some extra stuff. That's good. This snake looks really angry. You're going to need every trick in the book to beat it. I'm good at tricks. Okay, let's fight this dude. Okay. So we got that. Got some bad health. Shoot you. Yeah. Bite me again. Aren't really too tough, these things. Shoot you again. Gotcha. Uh, okay, collect more uh, venom and medicine. This horse has gone snake crazy, or maybe he was some other kind of crazy before. Approach him. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? Nere, I think. It's cool, all right? Be cool. Don't freak out, freak out on me. When nay. Look him in the eyes. You call me, look at the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand-yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape into every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now. That it's clear that you aren't actually made of spiders, though. Pat his nose. You careful and gently pat his nose. Uh, he twitches a bit, okay, a lot, but seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bad to ground his skull of his. That's a good boy. Er, feed him oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. Snurf. You feed the crazy horse some of the homing oats, and it gallops away with a whinny, or rather, whinnair Hopefully he's headed home and not into the twelfth dimension. Cool. Okay, I guess there was nothing left there. Let's go ahead and head back to the town. We... Oh, I guess we can shovel. Huh, getting some XP. Go ahead and shovel all that. And then we're gonna go dig up that. Covered mug. Okay. Let's see if we can sell anything. Just everything. Okay, no trades right now. Got it. Nope, there's nothing in here. I forgot. Let's go return those mugs real quickly. Found these mugs. Thanks. Just thought I'd say howdy. Okay. Let's go back over to the horse stalls. I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending her back. Um, sure. Looks like my pale horse made it back safely. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Thank you for finding my crazy horse. He was eating loco weed again, wasn't he? Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Uh, here's a little extra for it for you. Thanks. Got a lot of meat. Afternoon, sir. What can I do for you? Um, is this about the injury? Uh, you said something earlier about an injury. Yeah, I busted my knee while mucking out the showroom. Don't ask how. It's embarrassing. I was going to get Doc Alice to have a look at it, but she gave up doctrine. Why'd she do that? Uh, nobody knows. She just shut herself up in her office, said she wouldn't talk to anyone except for Nurse Whiskey. Is that an actual nurse, or I'm pretty sure she was just being sarcastic. I see. Okay, let's buy a horse. Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. I should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to the riders. Once you've bought one, you won't be able to change their mind later. Which one are you interested in? Uh, I kind of like the spooky pale one, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll go with the spooky pale one. Good choice. That's a good horse, if you like that sort of thing. I'll sell her for a thousand meat. What sort of thing? You know, spooky stuff. Spooky stuff? I don't want to get into particulars. Let's just say she sets a certain tone. Ooh, mysterious. I'll take her. Thanks. Here's the keys. Ride safe. You need 
Keys for a horse? Okay. Give her a name. Um, let's go. Uh, spook. Okay. Yeah. You know, generic spooky name. Oh, I almost forgot. Free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Southwest map. Thanks. Boop. No, I don't want to ride her out of town just yet. We did get that nurse whiskey, and the doctor said that she only talks to nurse whiskey. So where, where, where did I put that? It was somewhere. Right. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a weird skedaddle over there. Offer whiskey. What brand? Nurse whiskey. Your favorite, I'm led to believe. Don't know. Didn't know she made house calls. All right, hold on. You're rattling. Jen locks the door. Enter the house. Oh, that's dangerous. All that TNT and whatnot. Doc Alice looks at you to be about in her 50s. Hair is graying and her face is lined, but her eyes are still clear and sharp if bloodshot. She holds out her hand. Whiskey stat. Give it to her. She cracks open the whiskey and fills a small flask she takes out of her pocket. Then she puts the flask back in her pocket and starts chugging out of the bottle. Jeez, Doc, that doesn't seem healthy. Who's the doctor here, me or you? Okay, point taken. Hey, Doc, can I look at your books? Sure, if you want to. Not that they're going to do much good if, if, in this do, doomed, forsaken hellhole. You sure try to be less cheerful, Doc. Uh, check out the books. Uh, Leaf Through the Legend of Curly's Meat? The book tells the story of a legendary treasure, a massive chest full of premium meat, uh, secreted in the hidden sense, not the extruded, secreted, oh. And not the extruded sense in the western desert by an old cowhand named Curly Butterfield. Leaf through the life and work of Fred Ferguson. The book uh, purports to be a Civil War surgeon autobiography, but flipping through it is mostly just find some lists of reasons that drinking alcohol is bad, so it's actually a work of uh, ludicrous speculative fiction. Uh -huh. At least there's some useful appendix in the back and some diagrams of appendices. Okay, got some XP. Loof through the goblinoid tongue, a primer. You start flipping through the goblin language book. It's confusing at first, but you eventually get so engrossed that by the time you take a break from reading, several blurfs have passed, and you actually know that blurf is the goblin word for hour. Uh, you can... You have learned to speak goblin, sort of. Oh, I can communicate with goblins. Well, I, I did just shoot that one, so... I guess that wasn't the best of ideas. The stove is spotless. Either she's really compulsive about cleaning or never cooks. Oh. Okay, anything? This vanity does look like it's seen much use. Let's preen a little. You grab a pair of tweezers and pluck some of even more unsightly eyebrows. Oh, I didn't know you could get XP from that. Hmm, wow, shouldn't this be further away from the fire pit? Yeah. Sounds about right. Let's talk. Uh, Doc Alice continues to pour whiskey down her neck, occasionally stopping to breathe. Is everything all right? That depends on how fast I can get the Swiss game in my bloodstream compared to how fast my liver filters it out. And I can't talk and drink at the same time, so she glares at you meaningly. So, uh, what's, uh, I mean, what's the matter, Doc? What's the matter? The whole world's gone to hell in a horse cart, and you ask me what's the matter? Bandits, cows, demons, dead men walking. Why don't you go ahead and pick one? I'll drink that dead men walking? You haven't seen it. Corpses, skeletons staggering around like puppets with a ha uh, with half their strings cut, looks to take a bit out of the living. Oh, looking to take a bite out of the living. Oh yeah, there's a skeleton cemetery. Uh, it's nice to get outside and confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't get back up. Patients. Oh, ouch. Doc, uh, Alice turns away, grimacing. Every doctor loses one now and again. You never get used to it, but, well, it happens. But what doesn't seem to ha is coming back afterwards and looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough, buddy. I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um. Um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention on the bottle. Hmm. Okay, that was kind of dark and depressing. So, uh, let's get out of town and ride spooky out of town or spook once you leave boring springs you won't be able to come back 
Any unfinished business, you will go forever and remain unfinished. Yep, let's go ahead and leave. Alrighty then, you're probably uh, horsed and ready to start your new life in the West. All you need is a partner, somebody to share the trail with. Somebody you can rely on for emotional and combat support. Who will you take with you? Um, let's take Crazy Pete. You pop back to the saloon and collect Pete. Hit the trail. One last thing before you go. Up until this point, I've been automatically spending your experience points for you. I'm happy to keep doing it, and I promise I'll give you a nice way around an experience. Uh, shall I keep it, or would you really prefer to decide uh, for yourself where your XP you get spent? I'll start spending it manually. Okay, you now have the option of turning yourself into some kind of unbalanced weirdo if you want. Open your character screen if you Okay, let's go check the map. You consult the southeast-west map that the Hulsler gave you. It only lists two things. The town of Dirtwater and the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company, Westmost Camp. You discover new map location. Uh, two new map locations. Head for Dirtwater. Yep, there's Crazy Pete being crazy. Let's talk to him. What's happened to Pete? Well, now, if you're interested in, in mine and such, I ha happen to know a little of mine not too far from here. Hmm, okay. Is it a good one? Ain't never been. Well, haven't explored it and find out. Oh, you discovered a new map location. Snake Pit Mine. What do you think we should do next? Well, now, if you're hurrying to push west... I'd say a train will get us there mighty faster than horseback. You got a railroad camp marked on the map. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's um, go inside, I guess. They're engrossed in conversation. Leave them be. Okay. This gal doesn't look like she's... There's another spittoon. Perfect. This is a spittoon, which is sort of brass bucket that people spit in, into instead of spitting on the floor. Because not spitting at all is an option in a society, I guess. I say this despite knowing that you're pretty intimately inf familiar with spittoons already, sicko. Inspect it. Look, the jewel sp uh, saloon is pretty nice as saloons go. Actually, actual glass windows, uh, more than any kind, more than two kinds of drinks, a poker room instead of a cockfighting pit. But this spittoon is still a spittoon. The rancid tobacco spit inside isn't fancy um, rancid tobacco spit. Inspect it. <sighs> Here we go again. All right, fine. You are now hunkered down next to a brass filth bucket, which has probably never been cleaned or emptied because you're n near the desert and the ambient humidity around here is pretty low, low enough that the spit evaporates nearly as quickly as it accumulates. So that's good, right? No, that's bad. Because it's only the water part of the spit that evaporates. The brass bucket is half fill, is half full of the rest of the spit. The toxins and filth that don't evaporate. Several years worth. Distilled and concentrated until it is consistency of molasses. People aren't allowed to flick cigarettes busts into the spittoon anymore because they bounce out. Search it. You're about to put your hand into a bucket of something. Uh, the color and viscosity of maple syrup. Expect instead... Instead, except instead of the maple syrup, it's flavored with the inside of the mouths of people who chew cigars instead of smoking them and have never brushed your teeth. Yeah. Glorp. It feels like you're putting your hand in a bucket of lukewarm to uh, tapioca pudding. Sorry, I, I got hung up on that word. Uh, except instead of tapioca, it's basically poison. It smells like someone ran over a skunk, waited a week, and then set it on fire. It feels like your hand is evolving. Keep searching. You found something. You found a tacky, filth-covered porcelain cow figurine. A useless, disgusting thing that will never make a great heirloom for your children, assuming you're still able to have them, and you hate them. You got, uh, you got an item. Filthy porcelain cow. Hooray. Let's go ahead and see what we can use that for. Ah, oh, we already got it. Um, melee attack damage and spell damage. You have to hold this little porcelain cow upside down because it's filled with tobacco spit, and you don't want it to spill out. Of the little hole in the bottom of it. Oh, that's interestingly disgusting. Well, howdy there. Always nice to see your new face in town. Welcome to the Jewel Saloon. Hi, thanks. I'm Johnny. Glad to know you, Johnny. Folks around here just call me Lloyd. What can I do for you? Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Uh, let's see. I saw a sign out front advertising room. That's right. Finest room in the house. And plenty of room for your partner, too. You interested? 
How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a bank fella. He paid a whole month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like a decent sort. So the room's yours if you want. Great. Uh, wow, great. Okay, let's go back to talking to him after we we've got a room. Howdy, Johnny. Can I get anything for you? Hey, Lloyd. Uh, need help with anything? Well, if you're handy with mechanical type stuff, something's got wrong with our player, piano player. I thought the music sounded a little off. Yeah, it's not supposed to sound like that. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. I poked around in him myself, but I lost the key. A sudden take a certain strange. Weird. One more thing I want to try. Have a shot of bourbon. Coming right up. You're at him. Dirt water bourbon. Hmm. Another bourbon. Okay, I guess maybe... I was thinking that'd be something of interest, but I guess that's not the case. Um... Uh, Dirt water bourbon increases your maximum HP by five for the rest of the day. This glass of famous dirt water bourbon, which is famously mostly for having visible chunks of dirt in it. Well, that's kind of not all that great. Let's talk to him. Good old Jewel Saloon. Nice to see this old place ain't changed much. You been here before? Oh, sure. I've been all over these territories. Even spent a little time north of Canada. In Canada. Canada. Yeah, that's, that's okay. when I was younger. They got a thing you do with gravy and potatoes that just fascinated. Nice. Okay. These guys must have fallen asleep during a brawl. Let's go to guest rooms. This is Pete's bed. You look at yourself in the mirror. Let's insult ourselves. You call yourself a yellow booted redneck billy jerk. Ooh. You're madder than hornets. If your anger level gets higher than one, you'll pass out from rage. Insult yourself again. You better not insult yourself anymore. You'll get angry. You'll be able to pass out. Oh, okay. Let's get postcard. Ooh. Okay, that happened. Let's go back in there. See anything over here? Uh, the old man stares off in the distance, listening to the piano. Try to talk to him. He doesn't react at all. Let's see. The piano player is not just very good at his job. Try to fix him. You lift up the piano player's coat to reveal the hatch on his back that leads to his innards. It's locked, but it but it's not a very good lock. Uh, I don't have a needle. Oh. Poker room? I don't really feel like playing poker. Anything over here? Spirit discussion about guns, which is, there's the nicer. Slop meat. Let's go buy some slop. See what that slop does. Um, basically the same as the bourbon. Let's go, let's go to the kitchen. Nothing too much. The shelf is full of canned ingredients and boxes of slop helper. What are you doing here? Employees only. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, you know, looking around. So you're the nosy type. Well, I prefer adventuresome. As it happens, there's something you can do for me. I'm out of saltpeter and need some to pick up for saltpeter. Isn't that used to make gunpowder? And other things. Look, who's the chef here? Me or you? Okay, okay, where can I find it? Best bet is military camp. Because it's used to make gunpowder. Shut up. It's nearest one is Fort Cowardice. They keep it in the little green jars. The chief makes a uh, new map location. Okay, got it. Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Over here? Nope. Okay. Stage. Hit it. Nothing. Set you back up. Get some XP. Okay, now it's time to... Wait, what is... Oh, that's the angry modifier. Water's for horses only. Dirt water mercantile. Let's go ahead and see what we can sell. Uh, let's go ahead and sell that broken board. Um, gold tooth. We're just, we'll keep the gold tooth for a moment. Um, shiny rock. Silver nugget. Unrefi okay, this is the sell it. Good. Let's see what can we what can we do? Disposable binoculars. Oh. Okay, don't think I really need that. Modern snake oiler. Used to um learn a new snake oiling skill. Yeah, maybe that might be good here in a minute. But let's uh see. Uh no. Tooth powder? No. Let's go go ahead and buy that snake oiler. 
Modern snake oil issue. Okay. Uh, this is a old back issue pattern. Okay. Let's read it. There's a recipe for a quick uh, brute potion that fortifies your body, mind, and spirit. Give strong medicine. Combat skill that temporarily increases your muscle, masculinity, and moxie. There's an article which lists the tips and tricks for moving dirt really quickly. Quick on the draw. Skill that increases your speed. There's a fold-out chart listing all the hottest new poisons. Expert poisoner. A passive skill that multiplies the amount of poison you apply to your You poison them. Um, let's do expert poisoner. You memorize the charts and... Okay. Uh... Okay, unfortunately, you get so distracted thinking about the new kind of poisons that you misplace the magazine. Rats. Well, that's very distracted. Uh, 50 meat for a flower? No, thank you. Okay. Oh, over here. I'm Johnny Euler. Any mail for me? Mm, nope. Darn. Well, I'd like to send a postcard. Alright, let's have it. You write a quick note to Rufus letting him know that you've been up to and that you're okay. That will be, oh, it's one of the prepaid ones. That'll be zero meat. Thanks. Okay. Sent family postcard. Jail. Clerk clears her throat. Howdy. Are you a sheriff here? No, we don't currently have one. Uh, let's offer help. Need anything uh, until you find a sheriff? Sure. If you are good with a gun and there's always somebody in need of some justice. Wanted posters are in the back here. Cells over yonder. She points behind her and offers to the right. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. It's a wanted poster. No, wait. You misread it. It's a wasted poster? Close enough. Read it. The Stripey Hat Gang for Grand Theft Paint and Tasteless Hat Vandalism. Last seen in the vicinity of Cavern Canyon Resort. 1,000 meat. Interesting. Dirty, rotten paint thieves and low-down, no-fashion set hat, hat vandals. Despicable. Want to go after them? Yes. Okay. Got new map location. And uh, a wanted poster. Wait. Er a wanted poster if accuracy is important read it the house in the desert gang the mortgage non for no more for mortgage non-payment squatting general public uh nuisance and for murdering two collection agents last seen in the house that's a lot of stuff for just 500 meat hmm you wonder if the house is named after them or if they're named after the house in any case at least their location is unambiguous let's get them Okay, so we got, we got those guys. Let's see anything else. Okay, just uh, a lot, a lot of availables. Lots and lots of stuff. Got it. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see um, snake pit mine. Um, let's go over to snake pit mine first. Your booze sense alerts you to the presence of a rock. Confused, you move the rock, and sure enough, there's a bottle of booze behind it. Cheap tequila. Hmm. Phew, you're afraid for a second that your booze sense had been replaced with some kind of rock sense. Good news. Can we not? There we go. It was kind of low-key. Exposed mine vein. Talk to your partner. Well now, this here said the fine little mine. Not too deep, not too cramped. Shame, it should have run dry. You can tell just by looking at it, Aaron. I've got plenty of experience that matters. I see. Uh, ask Pete to explain it. You know what this stuff? I reckon I do, but I ain't gonna tell you. Don't want you getting ideas. Well, okay. I guess he's not gonna... Anything? No. Okay, he's not gonna explain that, then. It's kind of rude of him. Let's get some forage. Hot coffee. Oop. Where is the hot coffee? Increase the speed. Okay, in the mine. Pile of boards. Anything? Pull them out and punch it. Shoot him. See, Pete will hit the target with his lantern, dealing seven hot damage. Or Pete will give you or whoever a pep talk, raising all stats by two. Nah, let's bash him. Give him a shot. Good. You gain 30 meat. You extract some snake's most valuable organs. Snake liver. Oh, okay. Um, snake venom bladder. 
A lot of people don't know the, the difference between venomous and poisonous. I'm not going to explain it to you, but this is what makes a snake both. And another snake liver. Okay, so we did that. Dig through it, got some meat. Pull out the snake and fight him. Just smoked me. Let's see, heal, poison, I don't really think that's gonna really help all that much to go ahead and shoot him. I'm gonna have Pete bash him. Right. Here's got a little itchy. Go shoot him again. Got him. Okay. You really smoked that snake. I mean you didn't smoke it like you'd smoke a cheroot, you just kinda smoked it figuratively. Got some money, you extract some more of the stuff. Good. Hooray. A cache of mining supplies. Can of oil and dynamite. Let's look. Got some more. What was a can of oil do? Uh, it's lubricant or lubricant. Uh, both in a sense. Best call. Let's go actually look. Let's look inside. Let's go extract some venom. Oh, I can't do a. Let's see. Okay, never mind. Den full of snake eggs. Let's pull those suckers out. Don't like me, no snakes. Ah, baby. Bust it open. Dang it. It's gonna take forever to kill now, aren't they? Let's go ahead and. Deploy snake. Gotcha. Ah, Pete's down. Dang it. No. Go ahead and shoot them. Okay, well, at least they're not too powerful. Go and shoot you. So they're coal snakes, interesting. It's kinda like back and forth, back and forth. Well, at least I do more damage than he does. Okay, uh got fifty eight minutes. You grab the rest of the eggs from the den and shove them into your briefcase so they'll hatch and fill right at home. Plus three venom. That's good. But I think what we need to do is we need to um, eat some slop, increase the health. You choke down the slop, wondering why the pigs always seem to enjoy this stuff so much. Got some extra food. Ooh, pick up a pickaxe. That's good. Mine some meat. Um. Okay, that's good. Just riding that um that there lantern. Anything over here? Nope. Just gotta go goofy walk back. So there was that. Go get some more. And let's go ahead. Nope, wrong one. Let's go to the map. Uh, let's go to Cavern Canyon. Out in the middle of the desert, you find an abandoned mine cart. It's sitting on a section of mine cart track about 12 feet long, which starts to nowhere in particular and ends even less in somewhere in particular. Check it out. You mo it's mostly full of plain old rocks, not even very interesting looking ones. However, if you left without searching it thoroughly, you'd just end up driving yourself crazy with, with that thought that you might have missed something valuable. So you spend a good half hour inspecting the rocks and eventually find some that might be worth some. Unrefined meat nugget. Yes, Pete? Uh, whoops, hold on there, Parker. You missed one. He picks up a rock, you discard it, and knocks it against the side of the minecart, breaking off a thin chunk of rock and reveals a meaty center. Ah, got another one. That's good. Now we get to this cavern of pure, unadulterated scariness. Crap, let's see anything in here. Oop. Let's go back. Oop. Mostly scabs. Oh no, wrong one. Character. 
uh, you've been poked by so many cactus that your body's built of an extra layer, uh, set of skin capillaries just to deal with constantly tiny puncture wounds. Oh. By the way, how much, uh, uh, what's it called, um, info do I even have, anyways? Uh, who knows? I don't know how much XP I have. Danger. Spiders. Weapons. Um, nope. Medicine. Booze. Let's open up the weapon box. Uh, you dig through the crate. It's mostly full of pack and straw, but you finally find a pretty fancy knife. Fancy knife. You're sudden chittering and come back to the hole behind you. Oh, that ain't good. Okay. Okay, it says to leave right now. Got it. Wait, let's get that fancy knife. Uh, ooh, plus three moxie, and it does seven to nine damage. Oh, yeah, we're gonna switch out that fancy knife. Pry off the boards. Let's go ahead. Go on. The door has, like, 15 dead bolts on it. The note tacked to it says, Please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it, because rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed. But you can hardly expect to take it seriously. Open the door. In we go. The tunnel behind you is opening. There's no way to get through unless you're a huge giant spider. Oh. That's disconcerting. You can see the gang on the other side of the big pile of junk. But you're not going to be able to get to them from this end. Maybe if you had more legs and be able to pick your way through. Oh, okay. That's disturbing. Again. You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. Then you hear more skittering and silence. Let's go inside. Oh. Well, they... The gang has been prepped for spider consumption. Arrest them. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one, which Pete pushes all the way back in town on a wheelbarrow he found somewhere. Turn them in. Is this the stripey hat gang? Uh, they had a run-in with a giant spider, a giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the reward seemed rather explanations. Good. Groovy. That's good. Ooh. Let's quickly head on back there, because we didn't finish looking up that um, place. Uh, you find a cart lying on the side of the trail. The slid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD. Stencil it on the side, which is a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff, free, free stuff. Open it. Uh, ranch Punch. Um, ranch Punch is a slang name for combination of milk and whiskey ranchers used to drink. His actual name is Undrinkable gar Garbage. Oh. Increases bar of soap. Pure castle soap, where it comes from. They call it throat. Oh. Huh. So different. But let's go ahead and. Head back there, I saw the door. Danger kitchen. Danger bar. Let's go to the bar. All those empty bottles. More empty bottles. Pot. Looks like the place needs a new bartender. Jaw heart. Okay. That's the thing. Now, kitchen. There's a dude. Chef looking stuff. Other stuff. The poor chef has changed the wall. His eyes are wide open. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hands in, into, into yours and shakes vigorously. I'm Doug. Johnny, how do you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up here in this dark cave for weeks cooking these stripy hatted idiots. That sounds awful. You want to know the worst part? Of it? This is a perfectly good oven, eight feet to my right, and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients, eight feet to my left. Er. How's that the worst part? This chain is only four feet long. Oh, that's rough. I know, right? There I was, freshly out of coal near a school with a million meat idea in my head. And now I, I'm here, four uh, feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup I have over and over again. What million meat idea? Uh, you promise not to steal my idea? Yeah, I promise. Um, okay, then it's a new kind of sandwich, or maybe taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits into the hole. Hand food taxonomy, to be honest. 
Anyway, in the middle there is a sausage, but it's a sausage made of the cheapest po possible parts of a pig. Ground up finally that you can't identify them anymore. Okay. And it's served in a long split roll which soaks up the grease so you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. Um, and the best part, the name. You want to hear it? Sure. It's called the Hot Dug. Okay. What do you think? Um, it sounds great. He beams. Thanks. He sighs. Not that any of this matters, even if I do get out of this cave. Uh, there's no point in hanging around in this empty cave making hot dogs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. Get set up a shirt and dirt. Water. Brilliant. You're a genius, Donnie. Hot dogs for sale every, all day, every day. It's, I'll make a mint. So there's an idea. What if I add mint to the sausage mixture? You help him break his change. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven shelf full of greens, muttering to something about new sausage. Okay, that's a... That's a... Okay, I think we're... Here. Pretty much done with this whole cave of horrors situation. Let me just check real quickly. Anything in here? Nope. It's a spider gone from here. Okay, nope. No way going back there. Okay. Well, this has been uh, G2, and I think we should probably end it here. So if you like it, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.